Hello and welcome to Grand Signature Blog. I am Shanique Hughes and I'm with my very good friend and mentor, Robert Kenneth. Hello, how are you? I'm well, thank you for asking. And yourself? I'm excellent and I'm super excited to share short-term rental, specifically that verbiage because a lot of people know the word or the app Airbnb, VRBO, home away, and yet, a lot of people are still very unfamiliar with what it is, how it works. A lot of people rather stay in hotels. Some people say, oh, I will never stay in another hotel anymore because I'll save so much money by doing short-term rentals. And if you want to do short-term rentals, how can you do that? Because there is this stigma that it's not a very good business. And it's like Uber in, in the Lyft. I, that's the way I compare it. It's a new way of hospitality. So. We know about the Hilton Hotels and, and the like, um, and it's taking them 50, 75, 90 years to build up to be the number one. Airbnb started about five, six years ago. They are now the single largest hotelier in the world. The beauty of, of their system is it now allows everyday people the opportunity, if they have a property, to literally rent out a bedroom, rent out uh, two bedrooms, rent out the house daily. And that has a distinct advantage because traditionally we used to rent the entire house for the month. Or long term for six months, a year, two years. And if you have a bad tenant, it's very hard to evict them. And if they don't pay, it's even harder and so and so. But with short term rentals, you get paid up front. And of course, there is a lot of work into it. You have to provide great linens, not just any linens. Right. You have to provide towels and make sure that everything is clean and up to date. You have to provide everything furnished. So there is a lot of work involved, but I love the system. I think it's genius. It's absolutely genius. From a real estate standpoint, most people are taught to believe that you have to have ownership. But in this endeavor with Airbnb and other companies uh, like them, you get to lease or rent to own a property, so now you're controlling the property. You don't have to put down as much uh, money uh, if you are buying a property versus renting a property. You have to be very careful and make sure, especially if it's in a homeowners association um, or not, there's verbiage that you look for, okay? And as long as the verbiage doesn't make any mention of short-term rentals or thereof, you can rent it on a daily basis. However, you can avoid a lot of problems if renting that apartment house from the landlord, you specify, you tell them in advance, and we highly recommend that you do this, putting an addendum saying that you can do short-term rentals with a property and that you can change the lock for a digital code because it's going to help you a lot. Now, um, you know, there is this thing where short-term rentals, it is not subleasing. However, there's a lot of lawsuits going on and a lot of different perspectives. So if you want to avoid that, you can just make sure that you talk to the landlord and make sure that they are on board because they're going to be your partner. And why would they be partnered with you? Well, you're going to explain to them that short-term rentals are so much better than long-term. Why? Because there's very little wear and tear because you're going to be cleaning professionally the property at least once a week and not a lot of tenants do this and that you're going to be taking care of the maintenance in general just you know the little things here and there you'll you're going to have a handyman and you're not going to be calling the landlord hey i have a clogged toilet or whatever that specific agreement you guys came to the table with the lease agreement so it has all these benefits for the landlord for the people that are renting it short term and also for the client. Absolutely. It's a win-win situation. Again, you get to control the property. You make much more money, anywhere from two to three times uh, the amount uh, for rent than if you went the traditional road. So I highly recommend it. Uh, it's, it's readily available. Um, just check and be sure that the language is correct and you be open and honest with the uh, the owner of the property and you can uh, create your own win-win. And also remember, this is about decorating. This is about providing a great space and environment for your hospitality. 
new um, real estate endeavor. So make sure that you have comfortable beds, great mattresses, great linens, great decoration, modern, clean, simple, not overstaging, and you can build a lot of cash flow this way. It's not a formula to get rich quick. It does take a lot of work and understanding how to set up your LLC, your S Corp, or limited partnership, or however you're gonna start this business, but it is very doable and is accessible to anyone that has that willingness to start um, in, in the real estate arena. But you know, Shanique, at the end of the day, it still comes down to it's business, it's a system, it's duplicatable, and you can do it. Yeah, no doubt about it. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this channel, please subscribe in the bottom of the screen. And if you want to contact Rob as a mentor, how can we get a hold of you? Uh, please email me at hotforeclosure at AOL.com or feel free to call me, area code 954-494-2054. See you next time. Don't go anywhere because we're going to tell you a lot more about real estate. Subscribe and join the investment community. We have a new episode every Tuesday at 2 p.m. Pacific Time on YouTube and Vimeo.